performance-based design of intelligent buildings. What makes buildings intelligent? One aspect is that they respond to the occupants in the building. My name is Kees Wisse. I'm an HVAC consultant from the Netherlands. I will show in three videos how we can design intelligent buildings that respond to the occupants. The first video is about the design process. Designing intelligent buildings is not only a matter of technology, it's also a matter of the design process itself. I will show how we can change our business models for the design of buildings. The second video is an introduction to thermal comfort. We will learn the key parameters of thermal comfort. And the third video is about the mechanical infrastructure behind it. What do we need when we want to change the thermal comfort in the building? It's an introduction to smart heating, ventilation and air conditioning. It's an introduction to smart HVAC. So why should we change our business model? Well, it's due to the energy transition. The ambitious goals we have due to the Paris Climate Change Agreement, we have no time to waste in the challenge of climate change. The problem is that the real energy performance often deviates from the design performance of the energy consumption. So we waste time due to the fact that we need additional time for improvement of the energy performance of buildings. One problem behind it is the business model. In the conventional approach, we have a splitted responsibility. Different actors are involved, the architects, consultants, contractors, facility manage, managers, and so on. During the design process, the main responsibility lies with the architects and consultants. During the building process, the construction of the building, the contractor is mainly responsible. And during the maintenance and operating phase of the building, the facility managers and the contractors for the maintenance are responsible. And this splitted responsibility is a problem because knowledge is lost. Design plans are changed during the building process. And maintenance contractors are not familiar with the design details. Well, one solution is changing the business model. An upcoming approach is characterized by an integral responsibility. One consortium of architects, consultants, contractors is responsible for a long term of the life cycle of the building. So they design the building, they construct the building, and they are involved during maintenance and operation of the building. So as it is HVAC consultant, as a design consultant, we have a different role because we have to guarantee the performance during the life cycle of the building. If we make a mistake, we get it on our own desk during the operating phase of the building, and we don't like that. So we are involved in new projects where, are, where we have a long-term responsibility for the energy, thermal, comfort and more. One example is the Herman Gorter complex in the Netherlands in Utrecht. 
there we have a, a responsibility for the energy bill and the thermal comfort performance. Thermal comfort is the topic of the next video.